Hey yo! Uh, uh, why did I do game audio first, like a fool? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh yeah, you should probably turn down the Spotify music. I, I see go. one guy making a lot of excuses, you know? If you really can't play games, then what you should do is watch the, the Patrician TV uh, anal anal analysis of the, of the Elder gonna, Scrolls game. Are you going to bully me with the drink out? I will drink, you know what? Oh, I'm going into my chair. Why am I going into my chair? I should probably drink alcohol because we're about to play the fucking cursed game, but... <laughs> you know. Wait, is, is, is game thing not working? Hello? Hello? What the f- Why is chat not working either? Hey, hey, OBS, uh, what the fuck? I went to- oh, uh, the Partition TV's videos are just fresh in my mind because I was like gone for the weekend to a con. Okay, and that just works. On my phone, I was listening to like the fucking analysis on my phone as like a podcast. Uh, you know what I need? I need- I need I'm, music. Fucking hell. Uh... I'm, I've gone as far as Skyrim Part 2. <laughs> I need a need to force uh, you to play Shipwreck Arcana. What the heck is Shipwreck Arcana? Shipwreck Arcana? It's a board game. Oh! Uh, Deduction, Evaluation, and Logic. Oh. Oh! Might be worth it. Is it th I mean, I, I bet it has a tabletop sim. Uh, if you remind me, because I will forget this, uh, we'll look into it. Uh, by the way, also... do I have to invite you? I probably do. There you go. Oh, um, I can probably just join on you, but yeah, that works. Oh, this is loud. Honestly, after we've done the shallow cones, I wouldn't mind just playing all the tabletop stuff. Yeah. Okay. They're all unlocked now. Uh, so we have played the Cryptic Corpse, right? No, we played... Yeah. King me. Uh, yeah, the Cryptic Corpse was the last one we did, so it's the Mummy's Curse the Mummy's next. Curse, okay. Just in case, I'm gonna fetch the newspapers. 85 Just, ping? Is that bad for tabletop? It's saying the same for, like, for Ash on my side. I don't know. That's probably okay. No, there's it's the green, so I mean, I assume that's fine. How do you... Okay, let me put the newspapers here. Is this newspaper meant to be on the floor? Uh, yes, that's a copy of another one. Okay. Fuck those. Okay, we gotta get this one. So the memory cards, and this is the newspaper, and we should probably duplicate it. Uh, if I remember how to do it, there you go. I I'm it. still waiting for you to king me. Oh, you have to get the fucking new... Ne Your job is to get the Neko arc. Yeah, I can't do... I, I asked you like multiple oh, times. Oh, sorry! So sorry! Like, yeah, your job is to get the Neko, and I'm like, I'm asking you to give me the ability I to get it. I always fucking forget. There we go. Um, 12, I'm to get the April big one 12. in the corner. Wow, is it me? Oh, no, okay. The scan for this one is, like, very light. It's going to be hard to read. Oh, yeah, I started a um, playthrough of Daggerfall. Uh, to try it out. Oh yeah, and so uh, I, I definitely gonna need some time to get used to it before I attempt stream it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a bit darker so it's easier to read because otherwise it's just a fucking flashlight on my eyes. Well then, that's a sentence. Also, it lets us tell us easier which one is today's. Okay, so I guess we'll start from the case. 
sure. Wait, is it just this? Or wait, I mean... well, like sometimes it has images. No, nope, that's it. Like, this is all okay. of it. I mean, that's like we did literally have one that Sherlock was like, "Look at the fucking yep. newspaper, nerd." <laughs> well, um, we have uh, we are having our morning tea at Baker Street, hoping that a new case will come our way. Holmes is at work at his chemical table, and Watson is busy reading the Times. The tranquility of the setting is suddenly broken by Watson. What haberdash, what rubbish, Holmes, Watson adds emphasis to his outburst by throwing the morning paper onto the floor. How can the papers capitalize on people's superstitions? And the Times, Holmes. It's the Times that started it all. Watson walks over to the fireplace and begins to fill his pipe from the per Persian slipper. I must say, Watson says Holmes, as he turns from his microscope, you must be upset to forsake your beloved Arcadia for my shag. What is it that you find so disturbing? The affair of the mummy's curse, I would assume. Yes, Holmes, you would assume correctly. But it seems that you should have been using your powers of deduction and not of assumption to clear up this matter. It has the whole city in an uproar. Three men dead who are believed that it was caused by a 4,000-year-old mummy. I am surprised that you have not shown some interest in this, Holmes. I have been following it in the papers and have been and have made some inquiries. It does show some points of interest. I think most of the main points are lucid, but there are a few minor points that still have to be cleared up. I may look into it when I finish up the case I am working on. You don't mean that you believe this Howard Ash about a curse is responsible for the deaths of three people. My dear Watson, there has to be a curse of murder upon a man since the beginning of time, and I do not claim to know the cause of that curse. I think the curse of these murders is a little closer at hand than the 4,000-year-old mummy. Holmes now turns his attention to us. Why don't you look into this? You may find something of interest. Wow, we have nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I think this, this is literally like the previous one where it's like, yep. you have to bit go on the newspaper, but I think... I'm pretty sure there's been mention of, like, the Egyptian... Um, like, the digging up of it in old newspapers as yep. well. Uh, but let, first, let's do today's. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you're doing the left one, I assume? Yes. But mine is page two, so... Yeah, yeah, this is page one. Um, okay, we got to trade for this. Marriages, holy trade. The only excavation. Okay, this might be a person of interest. I'll call it POI, because I'm sick of writing people of interest. Friend. Um. J. Oh shit! Turtle soup. <laughs> what the fuck? Cautions and notices. It's just caution brand and co's essence of beef turtle soup and other specialties for individuals. Um. Visit. Okay. <clears throat> Bit of time. Oh, this guy's calling for Brexit. <laughs> nice timing. <laughs> when Brexit is like happened ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Miss Friend Scott. Okay. God, this sentence got fucked up. It's still legible, but like the line okay, got like this... warped or something. Uh, 
James. I am still trying to um, recover from not being able to, to fucking type, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, because of your new. Uh... Uh, I... yeah. um... Actually, do I have the. Okay, I think the audio is fine. I think my audio is fine. I'll be really upset if, if I'm fucking muted and no one will tell me again. <laughs> um, hopefully, you're not. Um, I was just mostly thinking, like, did I turn down Spotify enough? Because I don't want the music to be too loud, so I can't be heard. But I don't want the music to be too quiet, because then it's just a bit too... Um, I like how I'm reading about the sarcophagus of Alexander the Great, and, like, Spotify just put on a Splatoon song. <laughs> uh... Diocesan Conference. Yeah, I don't think I need to read more. The body of James Windebank was discovered late yesterday in the room he was preparing for the British Museum's exhibit of newly discovered artifacts from the tomb of... Oh, Quebec look at this! Trump. Look at this! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> what? To the end of the times. This, this one. Sir, as a man of science and medicine, I must protest that innuendos of murderous mummies, the ancient Egyptians had pro uh, progressed far in their own investigations of life and science. But they have certainly not found the secret of everlasting life in the material world. Even had they, we cannot bring home a mummy... Uh, oh, bring home the murder of two men to a 4,000-year-old mummy. I can only repeat that this is utter nonsense and balderdash without the slightest scientific basis <laughs> and a disgrace to the pages of your verbal newspaper. I just read who it's from. Yeah, <laughs> I am, sir, your obedient servant, John H. Watson, MD, <laughs> the 9th of April, London. That's funny. <laughs> He's fucking pissed. He oh. really doesn't like this. <laughs> I found um, the article on the, the mommy attack, so we have the name of one of the victims <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, the archaeologist was found strangled around his neck for linen bandages of the type used by the ancient Egyptians in wrapping mummies. Uh, when de Banks is the third murder to be associated with the mummy Kebet uh, in the past six weeks. The archaeologist had accompanied the London University sponsored exhibition to Egypt. The project had been cursed with ill luck since the first discovery of the tomb several months ago. Its organizer, Dr. Eben Turnbull, was murdered in the actual tomb itself. Another archaeologist, Andrew Weatherby, met a similar phase aboard the ship's return to England. The Jardine ship, Eastern Express, was the scene of the mysterious death. The shipboard investigation was held by Captain Herman Ramsey and the first officer, Luther Tenney. Scotland Yard has declined to name any suspects at this time. Uh, I haven't seen. It. Oh, I'm I'm uh, I'm writing down the names. Yeah. Uh. What? Lol. What? What? We are part of another taking tomorrow. A solar panel power shed space. It's, oh my god! I mean, it means you're. N <sighs> Wait, solar panels? Oh, that's that's weird. Like in Italy, we have different terms for like solar panels and like um. We call it photovoltaic, because you can use. You, there's two kinds of solar panels. Some of you, some of them are used for eating, so they just have like water channels that get heated by the sun, and the other ones have actual like the the photocells to actually make energy. Uh, so, for example, on my old house, we had both. The sun using the energy of the solar power. For... Yes, that is actually common. We again, uh, we we have a house with solar panels, and we don't use the solar panel energy because uh, the way it works is if you want to use your own solar energy power, you need actual like you need the you need a lot of equipment, which you can get. It's just very expensive, and it used to be even more expensive. Um. I assume that Dr. Ebenezer is the first victim, right? They died on the tomb. 
And then Andrew... Well, so basically what happens is that we sell the solar power energy to the energy co to the electric company and then they also provide us uh, the electricity for the house and basically they just take the, the money off the bill and give us the difference. Yeah, but so they don't pay for the energy as the share spare, they make money on the excess and the vendors pay for that as well. Yeah, I mean... Then why say that they have solar panel? I guess is the is the point. Oh, bless me. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely, you can definitely uh, say, well, fuck you, white. Shipboard investigation was handled by Captain and Emmon Ramsey, the first officer. Uh, should I? I pro should probably uh, keep these guys because if we go to like the the shipping company, we might find these people. Um, if I find any newspapers that have information, uh, I'll leave them over here. I don't think there's anything we can use, but it's just that it talks about recent excavations in Egypt, so it's like it's relevant. But I don't think it gives us any information. And, um, in... Actually, what are the names? Because I feel like the way they're going to catch us out is we need to find the names in other locations that aren't even relevant to the... Uh... Turnbull... And then Luther... Uh, James Bond to Bank, Andrew Weatherby... Okay, so we have some names. I haven't read the rest of this. Um, do you want to? Did you check the old newspapers? That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Like I, I left this one to the side because it has an article on it, but I don't think it's anything useful. But just that we have a pile of. Captain you know, Dooms is the one we where the guy was killed. Well, like all three people are mentioned in here. This is just them planning the expedition, I think, it's or like talking turn, about oh, yeah, that they're going to do it. But What's like on there the was no. Uh, yeah, if you go on the next page, the paragraph finishes here. But uh, so something that I I'm not reading is what the which shipping company handled the deal. So. Oh, Jer Jardin Sheep Eastern Empress. Okay, this is good now. Um, ship. Oh, damn it. Let me actually copy this. Control X, Control V. fuck is my oh here we go archaeologist dead in mummy's tomb um so this might give us more detail about the first death professor uh ebenezer turnbull organizer of the Quebec tomb expedition was found dead in the tomb early this morning the inner chamber was reached early in the year after much difficult labor and the archaeologists were quite ecstatic over the excellent condition of the sarcophagus, chamber artifacts, and Kibet's mummy itself. The party was in the final weeks of its work in the area when disaster struck. Mr. Turnbull had left uh, had worked late into the night, remaining in the chamber alone after other members of the party had retired for the night. The camp was highly guarded to prevent plunder. His body was discovered by Mr. Andrew Weatherby, another of the project project's archaeologist mr turnbull had been strangled to death ancient linen bandages were found around his lap neck so that matches the third uh, victim upon so, hearing the professor's yeah. death several of the natives working on the expedition called upon I isis and, and osiris for protection and for forgiveness for disturbing the sacred tomb inscriptions found on the uh, on the canopic jars and doors indicate that this death may have been a mysterious work of the ancient god tamu Mutef, 
and his goddess uh, Neith. Um. Well. Uh. Uh. On the university was sponsored the expedition. Uh, but then in the British Museum was the scene of the crime. Um, I'll leave this one over here. There's nothing green about the flood. Yeah, basically that, yeah. Why oh, yeah, am I picking up two newspapers? There we go, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what some of them you pick they happened to me earlier. <laughs> so I say there'll definitely have to be another paper that will have the second death discussed in it. Um Flats for all people, some furniture provided. Hey! Hey Zero, wanna go back to London? <laughs> <laughs> some flats for you apparently. Oh, God. God damn it, it is a flashlight to my face. Flashlight? Whatever. Hell no, <laughs> man. Uh, oh, you know what? Else. I might actually wanna wanna um, wanna uh, keep the dates of the accidents. So third victim. So this um, is probably absolutely nothing to do with the case. Oh, hey, Rabbit. Oh, wait. Um, oh, fuck. I forgot to put on the game. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. I was, on, I, was on the, I was on the just chatting screen this entire time. And, oh, I, sh I should have noticed. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. That, thank you for that, Rabbit. <laughs> I was reading oh, newspapers and the chat couldn't see. Um, so there's a thief that was found strangled. So very doubtful has anything to do with this, Wait. but like oh, no, all the forward. victims seem to have been strangled. Maybe it was a thief looking for the loot. So I'll put this on this side as like a maybe uh, newspaper. Uh, what? What? There's a there's a newspaper about a thief being strangled and left in like the Thames or something. So it's like extremely unlikely to be relevant, but you never know. Then we know. because like because what if it was like uh, like some Wait, why do I have the fucking like, thing? Up. I don't care. Okay, um, we know James Windy. I think called Windy Bank? Yeah. Like yesterday. So, an 11th. During the absence, Mr. Poe will be in charge of the British Diplomacy Agency. Okay, that's nothing to do with the uh, archaeologists, I assume. Uh, when did the, the other guy die? That's, uh, I'm currently uh, looking through seeing if I can find an article on their death. Made a similar face on board the ship returning to England. Uh, so if I, you have... I found the article on the first death, but I didn't find the article on the second death, which was the one on the boat. Disaster at sea, is this the one? No, uh... there's another one. Wait, what's it? Philadelphia, Paris. 
Paris. Well, it has to be after March 5th. So anything... That, that cannot be, because that's 8088. Yeah. It has to be after March 8088. Yeah, they're both like 88. Oh, so we don't know when the other guy died. Okay, we're missing one date then. Wait. Oh, this is April. Uh, cause yeah, that's 88 as well. And then this one you threw out was, yeah, a repeat. Um, uh, yeah, we're currently in April, so yeah, the next one wouldn't be, uh, just in case, April 11th. Wait, 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 what's Wait, I didn't know I have this one out? Shit. Well, like, that's, that's the next case, but it's the day before. No, wait, this is the year, the year after, though, it's 1890. Oh, oh, okay. So there's a year time skip. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just throw it off the table. Yeah, I mean... No time Hello, travel Sentai. here. Hello, gaming. Rabbit. Let me shut you up, Bolt. Uh... As soon as I can do it. Actually, what was Rabbit playing last time? I think... Was it Genshin? I bet it was Genshin. Probably Genshin. <laughs> No, I was talking. Oh fucking hell! I, I, I even lurked a bit. Oh, I should yeah. have known. I forgot. <laughs> well, I know what what Santa was playing though. Um, actually, died. So Let's go. Actually, I'll just say. Doom. Where was the article about G A Smoots? What the what the fuck? The guy who wanted to cancel the expedition. Oh, it's it's on top of here. Oh, okay. It's just a random guy, though, so probably nothing. Important. Well, it's it's like I'm just like want to take a look at it because like I didn't re I didn't like I want to know what it says in case it's relevant later. Um, in regard to the murder, murder, m mummy murders. I would like to the mummy murders. Oh, that... what? <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's I, I I much prefer the like uh, mommy milkers, but I guess mummy murders is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sir, with regard to the recent mummy murders, I would like to suggest that we abandon our attempts to disturb the ancients in their graves or otherwise. This applies not only to such excavations as have come so common in Egypt, Morocco, and other foreign lands, mommy, but sorry, also mommy. To the <laughs> in our own British Isles. The hypothesis of such man is James uh, Ferguson, who believes that Stonehenge is an ancient uh, spectral monument of the Saxon Druids are true. We should leave these burial grounds undisturbed. Surely if these murders are the work of some present-day mortal human, the police will discover his identity and bring him to justice. I do sincerely believe, however, we should not meddle in the magic and sorcery of which we know not, for we have not the means to control the forces thus unleashed. Respectfully yours, J.A. Boots. Yeah, this is a random guy, honestly, <laughs> so uh, probably not worth looking into, but, you know, we might run out of leads because we don't have that many to begin with. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah wait 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 we have to find the ship uh, company I mean like to be fair like that's that is a lead that isn't that far so Jardine is like... 15 EC okay it is uh... I think we might begin at Jardine or the Malondo Museum I think Jardine would be pretty <laughs> Uh, it's, it is kind of a moonshot to go for that first. Uh... Hey, every now he wanted the expeditions to be called off, so maybe he had involvement, but I guess it is a bit No, of no, a not joke. that guy. I mean, going to Jardine first instead of the scene of the murder. Oh. Because I am placing it. It's 15 EC. Oh, yeah, uh... where did the... Discovery yesterday in the room preparing the British Museum exhibit. Yeah, so we have to go to the British Museum. To yeah, British see the Museum Marines. and London University was a, the sponsor of the expedition. So we might also go there. Yeah. Uh, but first I have to find the British Museum, which I have no clue where to find. Well, probably I'll just go to B and I'll find it there. Where is the... Wait, is there only one London directory? Where? Uh, no, the other one is like here. Like here. There you 
Yeah, I know, but like, there's meant to be like there's usually two, so I yeah, just why am I using it? No, I, I was already no, I, I picked the other one. Uh, so British Museum is oh, thirty eight okay. WC. Thirty eight WC. Do, do we want to go there first? I mean, it's a museum of the murder. It's a safe bet. Sure. I thought it was funny to just go to Jardin first, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's the British Museum. Um... um. Oh yeah, I have to fucking keep the location history. One second. Uh. Well, it's so... a decently long one. Yeah, sorry, Just I'm I'm writing. So wait, oh oh, what was the place again? 38? 38 WC. Okay. 38 WC. Okay, I did it. Okay. Um, Leland Johnson, curator of the Egyptian collection, shows us into Scott the second Egyptian room, the scene of the murder. In the middle of the room is an ancient sarcophagus, its gold-covered surface reflecting the light that passes through the east windows. Windebank's body was found in the sarcophagus, states Johnson. Inside of the sarcophagus? Yes, inside. A rather appalling sight uh, greeted one of the guards who he uh, made his... Wait, when he made his rounds. As he entered the room, he noticed the top of the sarcophagus was his cue. As he moved closer, he saw a man's hand protruding from the sarcophagus. Thinking that the mummy was, at, uh, was attempting to leave its resting place, he ran from the room to get me. Some of the guards have been a little on edge since the story of Mr. Weatherby's death. I returned to the room, and with the guards' help, we removed the top of the sarcophagus and found the body of James Will uh, Windebank atop uh, Kim, uh, K Cap. I've somehow forgotten how to pronounce this word. I said like twenty times. Uh, Kabet's uh, mummy. Around his neck was a linen bandage, the type used to wrap mummies. A very eerie sight, I must say. Who else had access to the room? The museum was open to the public yesterday. This room was closed white. Uh, the exhibition was being set up. Uh, but there was no extra extraordinary precautions to keep people out. Just the rope across the entrance. Do you have any idea who might want to have killed Windy Bank? No, none at all. I don't know him very well. He didn't work for the museum, you know. He was with London University. The university and the muse. Um... We're joint sponsors of the Quebec expedition. Can you think of anything that might have shed some light on the affair? No, sorry, I can't think of anything. Was the other sponsor? Um, the other sponsor was and the, the muse. muse. What's the muse? Oh wait, no. Oh no, it might be museum. Ah, uh, might be museum. Yeah, yeah, museum. Yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, we have to have to come back here definitely. Uh, Leland Johnson yeah. is the curator. I mean, I don't think we want to go to his place, but... I mean, put it down on people of interest in case his name comes up again later. Or no, I'll put, I'll put it in... here. Um... Uh... Uh, Where to next? I, I guess think we, we go to J the... Jardine, probably. Oh, Geraldine. I think so. Does it make sense for you? Fifteen EC, sure. Wait, around his neck was a line and bandage. Uh, yeah, that's that's what's been around like the necks of every victim. They've been strangled, and they have like. I'm pretty sure if we can find out where the the bandages came from, we'll find the murderer pretty much. Um. So wait, or, like, uh, where, where are we going now? Them. Uh, Fifteen the, EC. 15 EC, yep. Yeah. There we go. Found it. It's right next to the Tower of London. Cool. Wow. Uh, here's the passenger list of the Eastern Empress. Okay. Oh, well, well, there's a, there's, there's a few names. Yep. Uh, um... Probably a new note thing to be like people on the ship. Yeah. Um, well, that's pretty good because it, it can only uh, be one of them, unless there was like stowaways. 
Yep. I, I, when I saw one sentence, I was like, oh, this isn't a good sign, but yeah. actually, that's pretty solid. Like, we Yeah, you know what? You know what recalls me? Like, remember when we went to the tobacco, tobacco place in, like, the second case, where it was like, oh, this is just a list of names, but that list of names was all we needed? Yep. Uh, do you want to write this? Because it's going to take me a while to do it. Sure. Okay, I'll just leave it where I was. Um, I will. I accidentally undone it. <laughs> Fuck it, you write it. I'm gonna find the people. So, Al Saud. I don't think Al Saud is from London. Yeah, no Al Saud in London. Oh wait, never mind, not it's there. Uh, I'll just wait for you to be done with the names then. Sure. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find these guys actually, in a while. I mean, I just finished. Oh, you just finished? Cool. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll put... So what do you want to do in the meantime? time? You just turn up... So well, gonna... if you're finding their uh, addresses, I'll just put them in next to their names. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do it myself. That one. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, actually, you do it, cause I, I okay. I'm gonna sell this 19 SE. Okay. Now we need Fami. God, he lives in Skyrim Special Edition. Poor bastard. What? <laughs> Fami Akram is 37 WC. Uh, 37WC. Then we need Fenwick, same page. Fenwick, was... Merrill is 9 Northwest. Uh, Northwest. I assume Luis must be the same. Probably like a married couple. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they, it's the same. They're, they're actually both on the list and they're all the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice they were like the next one. Uh, then we need Travis. So Travis is D. Travis Touchdown. What the fuck no is more hero. D. Oh, that was funny. Uh, uh, we need Travis Philip. Okay, Travis, Travis. Travis Philip is 50 EC. 50 EC. Then we need Uruburu. Uh, Uruburu Anthony is 3 3 Northwest. 3 3 Northwest. Then we need Weatherby, which I mean is dead, but maybe they have family. I don't think they probably have much for us. Uh, where the fuck is Weatherby? Oh, Weather. Okay. Immediate. Uh, Weatherby Andrew is 8 EC. Okay. And Windy Bank is also dead, but is 12 Northwest. Southwest. To no, be no, fair, I Northwest. Think oh, Northwest, sorry. Uh, I think that's it. I, like, uh, Windy Bank might be a good place to go because he died after they got back, so he might have left something right. in his house. While with Weatherby, he died on the boat ride back, so he would not have dropped anything. So, off. let me just add a note which one are dead, which one are living. <laughs> dead. Dead. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, uh, was... Who died now? Wait, was the... Was the doctor not on the... The doctor died in the tomb, so he didn't even get to the boat. <laughs> Alright, this is only the return trip. Okay. Yeah, this is the return trip, yeah. Cool. So, like, um, one of these people killed um, uh, Weatherby on this boat. And it's theoretically possible that Windebank did it, but it's unlikely because he was also a victim. But you never know. I hate that we have addresses for every one of them. 
you know? <laughs> it's kind of upsetting. Yeah. Um, okay, let me also uh, put the, um, the thingy here. Should we go to Windebank next? And I just get the marker over there. Do you want to go to Windebank? Yeah, sure. Let's go there. Um, so we're looking for... I'm pretty sure we're not going to find anything at Windebank. Because this game is stupid. And will do that to us. We missed the uh, one news article, man. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure if we go to like places, run like if you go to the obvious places, we're not gonna find shit unless it's like the actual scene of the murder. Yeah, but they usually get clues. Yeah. Um, so what was James, the again? James uh, Windebank's widow, uh, Hildegard, shows us into the parlor. I told him it was a mistake to go on this expedition, but he was determined. He said that he had spent his life studying and that this was a chance to actually get out into the field. Did he talk about the death of his colleagues on his return? No, not particular, but remained uh, very evasive. So he feared for his own life? I wouldn't go that far, but a certain paranoia had settled in. Uh, the poor deer wanted to flee all the that ridiculous publicity, and he had decided that we'd take a trip to the on the continent, going around the world. That didn't seem like him, but the whole case had probably disturbed him. I thought when I married a professor that our lives would be quiet and uneventful. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. Wait, uh, I told you it was a mistake. Well, oh. he seemed weirdly calm, but he wanted to like go on a around the world trip, seeming to want to get away. But he mm. didn't seem like he was afraid that much. Um. Uh. uh... Um. Uh, yeah, let me cross this guy. So we're gonna run. There it is. Multiple 4K monitors. Ah, let's go on a single. Goodbye. <laughs> it's R.I.P. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I had the Linus Tech Tips video where he drops the graphics card. Uh, ooh. That's funny. Um, <laughs> do you want to go to James Johnston? He died uh, in a cemetery. Nah, probably not related though, right? In a cemetery accident? Where was that? Here. For the accident. Linus being Linus. Yep. Um, same name, we're all once this afternoon engaged in laying the foundation of a headstone in the cemetery near Glasgow. When the excavation, 14 feet deep, fell in, the body was carried down with the filing soil and completely buried. The sun had a n narrow escape. Many villagers volunteered to attempt to recover the dead body, but it was so jammed that their efforts to extricate him were in vain. We want to go to I've... Watson? <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, we want to go to J.S. Mutz. <laughs> funny. We'll see if we can find him. Oh my god, if we find him though. I mean like Smuts, it's uh, like... It's, remember last sure. time we did it, we actually went there and the guy was like, Dude, I just write letters. <laughs> I just, I don't... <laughs> yeah, but then remember the time before that we did it and then it ended up solving the entire fucking Matt's case. Matt's J is here, by the way. It's 40 SE. They just went there for fun. Oh, yeah. 40 SE. <laughs> Okay, we're going. We're going to uh, once again. We're demonstrating that if you talk shit, you're gonna get hit. <laughs> by, by, Pretty much. Don't fucking write. To... Hey, yeah. Uh, so three people died, and you're talking shit in the newspaper. <laughs> we need to answer some questions, buddy. It's like, you're a fucking dipshit. What do you think I uh, do? Oh, you say we should stop, and if we don't stop, what are you gonna do? Kill more people? Huh? I mean, it wasn't even the ship. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, oh, you got it? Oh, okay. Well, oh, yeah, I found... I found. Oh, wait, no, this is SW. Where's yeah, SD? Yeah, there's no SC, I think. Yeah, no SC. Okay, we can't... Wait, what, we can't fucking visit him? Oh, nope, this is bullshit. Nope, <laughs> Like, no, it doesn't count then. 
I, I'm, actually kinda, I'm actually kind of salty about that. What the I kinda, fuck? I'm He's in the address. Well. We know the... where he lives. <laughs> it's just we're just outside his house with like bottles on our fingers, clinking them together. Don't you love having the book of come out to play? <laughs> This is the book of doxing. I love it. Um. Um. So. Let me think about this. Ooh, Thomas. Okay, I'm actually going to take off my hoodie because I'm roasting right now. Do we want to go to the university? They sponsored the exhibition. I was just consumed by my chair for a moment when I've returned. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say let's go to the London University so at least we we get we Take run it out off of places. The list. Yeah, it's 43 WC. 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 43, you said? Yep. There we go. We're going to the bathroom. <laughs> What? WC. Oh, right. Yeah, like when I said it, like when I was joking that like SE was Skyrim Special Edition, it's like that's when you're modding, it's like, are you using the SE edition, the anniversary edition, or the Ellie? Oh, right. Um, hey, if, you, if you give me SE as an acronym, I would think probably Windows 98 SE, which is a like second edition. Oh. Uh, it takes a little bit of sleuthing, but uh, to locate the uh, Egyptology department. Um, but when we arrive, we find its chairman, uh, Lawrence Feld, quite willing to talk with us. Mr. Feld, anything you can tell us about the expedition or the victims would be helpful. Such a tragedy. Fine men, fine scholars. I still can't get over the shock of it. When I heard that Tur of Turnbull's death in Egypt, well, what can I tell you? The expedition was... Sponsored jointly by the university and the British Museum. Ebenezer Turnbull had left several exhibitions to the Lurik uh, Canark area and has been uh, made some very significant discoveries. No sooner does he return to London from his expedition than he is busy playing the next. It was the first time he teamed up with James uh, Windebank. Windebank has spent some time in classrooms than in the field. But to my great surprise, he insisted very much on being chosen, and in the end got along perfectly uh, well, well with Turnbull. He is a very popular teacher, and several of his students were eager to accompany him on the expedition. I know he had a difficult time choosing uh, Weatherby as the lucky one. Doesn't seem to be lucky now, does he? I guess Travis is the lucky one after all. Travis? Yes, Philip Travis. Uh, he was one of Windebank's students, and he was very eager to accompany the Quebec expedition. Oh. He became quite upset. Oh, he's on it. He, when Andrew Weatherby, a graduate student in the department, was chosen. Took it rather personally, actually. You've been most helpful, Mr. Feld. Can you think of anything else? No. I certainly hope you're not as serious uh, this rubbish about the murders being the work of a mummy. This kind of superstition uh, Doggles does to... Uh, tremendous to service to science and scholarship. Okay, Thank so you. So, Travis, where the fuck is Philip? We're going. We're kicking down his door. Man. Uh, Philip is fifty. Wait, 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 wait. Where the boy? Where sudden? Wendy Bank? How the fuck do you write Wendy Bank again? Okay. Sus people! Let me get the sus people document. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to find 50. Where the hell is it on this map? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, you're still using that page. Um. No, I'm not using it anymore. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, a little bit of iron brew straight out of that can. Um, 
Let me know when uh, you want me to start reading. One second. Okay. I'm in. Okay. Philip Travis is a handsome young man with the enthusiasm of youth. He appears quite eager to talk to us, uh, an audience. So you've been reading my articles in the Times. What did you think of them? They were interesting. Wait, he has articles in the Times? Apparently. Oh god, we're gonna have to. Okay, find well it. we're gonna we're gonna need to read those. Shit. No. Um, what do you yeah. think of them? They were interesting. Thank you. The circumstances I had to work under were not good. The security perimeter around the camp was extremely strict, and I could not express the to or access the tomb despite my numerous requests. Oh, wait, did he just write the articles about what happened? Uh... Um... Uh, doesn't say... Here. Murami strikes again... Um... Oh, I wonder if we were supposed to go to the Times and they would, told, uh, would have told us. Which means there are at least three leads into Travis, which means I bet it's not the culprit. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, you know, uh, I am not really a reporter. Oh, wait, could access to him despite my numerous requests. You know, I'm not re really a reporter. Oh, no, I was trained as an archaeologist and Egyptolo uh, Egyptologist to be exact. He says, pointing to a framed London University degree which hangs on his wall. That's why my articles carry the force of truth. And what is the truth, Mr. Travis? The truth is, that it's not good sometimes to bother what is no longer. As even death may be temporary, Travis goes on a large table in his room, cluttered with books and ancient objects. On his table are a small number, or a number of small mummies, as well as beakers and scattered vials. Travis takes one of these mummies and says, "Hello, my darling baby." This guy, this guy's sus as fuck. Yep. <laughs> and then turning to us, he continues, "They are the mummified remains of a cat." It's the ideal companion. No need to feed it or let it out, and yet we feel like a presence, as if life still flowed in it. He puts the mummy back on the top shelf with a small smile. The young journalist takes out a sheaf of papers covered with uh, hieroglyphics, and then exhibits a barely used bottle of whiskey, fills a glass for a mouthful, and toasts the mummy, which now mocks us from the top of the furniture. Thank you, Mr. Travis. Oh, don't leave yet. Let me show you another of my companions. Thanks, but we really must be going. He is fucking nuts. Yeah, okay, I can but... see why he wasn't taken on the fucking trip. It was taken on the trip. It's, it made the trip back. No, well, no, I like I I think what happened was he wasn't chosen to be part of the um, archaeologist dig, but he got a job at the Times to be able to accompany oh, them as a okay. reporter. Which is why he wasn't allowed into the actual, like, excavation. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense now. So, it is sus, but... So, he it, was so obsessed, he got a different job to reporter. just to go on to the trip. <laughs> so, here's my problem with this, is... If it's obviously guilty, why was he not found guilty during the investigation aboard the ship? Um, bro, I, I, I think this guy is... Is stupid nuts. Yeah, like... Should we it, go it to the captain? Oh, wait. Oh, we have the captain of the boat, do we? We have the captain. You have the two people who led the investigation on the ship when the other guy died. Um, they probably will give sure. us also a date. Ramsey. Ramsey, Ramsey, Ramsey. Oh, wait, it'd be near the start. Uh... Ramsey. Rambo? No, no, Ramsey Herman. It's 32WC. Yeah. No, it's just I saw Rambo and I thought it'd be funny to just go, Rambo? Oh, wait, I have, to, I have to read that we went to fucking Philip. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Travis, uh, what, what address was Travis? It was 50EC. 50, 50, shit. 50... EC. And then we're going to... Which uh, fucking anti block ship really chips my ass? Yep. 32 WC. Three... Uh, we... And we are... It's called Ramsey. 
Bentley's private hotel. Well then. You keep on Spain, <laughs> but only because I'm slow at it. Captain Ram oh god. Captain Ramsey, can you tell us about the circumstances of the death of Andrew Weatherby aboard the Eastern Empress? Well, we just come through a rather large storm, and I was sent my I, and I sent my first officer shit. Luther Tanny down oh, into the hold to check the cargo. He reported back that Mister Weatherby was dead among the Egyptian artifacts we were transporting. I turned over the helm to Tanny and went down to look for myself. Weatherby was then lying next to the coffin. Uh, whatever it's called, he had a piece of old rag wrapped around his neck, strangled apparently. I went back to the bridge and pulled Ten Tenny in charge of the investigation. What did Mr. Tenny find out? You'd have to ask Tenny about the specifics. I was rather preoccupied with the ship through the entire voyage, one storm after another all the way to England. I counterstrained uh, Tenny's report, of course, but I can uh, scarcely recall the details. My chief concern was that my crew was blameless and the report indicated as much. As far as the passengers were control concerned, a strange law, uh, all in all, Penny oh, can give you more fuck details. This. Oh, we have to go to Tenny now. Uh, Tenny is. Uh... Tenny Luther, right? It's 1 1 SC. Uh, one one e, one one s no uh s e, southeast. S -E. Okay. China. Wait, oh did I break that? Yeah, one one e c, one one second edition. One one e c. What? No. Wait. Southeast. What? I heard you just said e c. No, I didn't. I said s e. Back me up here, chat. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh... I said second edition. Clearly, clearly second edition. Sh should we just uh... should we just get better names? I don't know. I'm just like I I I think I just like have half my brain cells. Um. Okay, so well, this is... okay, this is a long one. Um. Lieutenant uh, Luther Tenney tosses his hands up in the air. My god, what a voyage. I see storms all the way. Cargo to be selected, cargo to be secured and resecured. A discontented crew and a strange collection of passengers complaining and bickering all the way. I tell you, the murder, even by a 4,000-year-old 4, mummy, was only one of a series of unfortunate events. We understand that you were the one to find Mr. Weatherby. Yes, there was a pause between the blows and Captain Ramsey ordered me to go down to the hold and check the cargo again. I went right to the area of the Egyptian artifacts that Professor uh, Windebank was particularly anxious about them. Can you describe the scene as you found it? I found Weatherby next to the coffin thing with part of the mummy's uh, winding sheet across his neck. Various crates were open and paper scattered all over. Uh, Weatherby was lying right behind, beside the crate next to the bowl of ashes. I reported immediately to Captain, and he put me in charge of the investigation. What did you find? Not much, really, I'm afraid. You see, it was eight bells, eight in the morning of the third day um, out of Suez. Jesus Christ, uh, that's not a date. A storm had been, well, like eight in the morning of our third day out of, yeah, so it's like three days into the voyage at eight in the morning. Uh, oh, the story had okay. been raging all night, and so the crew had been at their posts and counted for. The passengers, whether it be among them, were all in their cabins as far as anyone knew or would say. Travis, the journalist, was sick as a dog. The ship's doctor even had to give him a sedative, so no one saw anything, heard anything, or knew anything. What about the bowel? Where is it now? I don't know what happened. Now that you mention it, I don't remember ever seeing it again. Um... You found nothing suspicious or unusual? Unusual. Now, I didn't say that. It all started with the crew. Seamen are rather superstitious, thought to begin with. Our crew, Indians and Egyptians to a man, were that much more so. The idea of carrying about a 4,000-year-old mummy spooked them completely. That reporter fellow, Travis, did us no service with all of his mystic uh, mumbo-jumbo about the sanctity of the dead and whatnot. He and Professor Windebank were constantly arguing the point, and the crew picked it up. 
We almost faced a bloody mutiny, pardon my language. Uh, then there were two uh, Arabs. One Famid Al always had this box with him, a curious thing, obviously special made. It was about 18 inches high or 6 or 8 inches square. I don't know what was in it, but uh, Fab me never let it out of his sight. In any case, he stayed in this cabin most of the time and didn't have contact with anyone other than Windebank, with whom I've seen him trade a few words on the bridge. The other uh, Arab, Ali Saad, was always lurking about watching uh, Fabi. My guess is that he wanted the box or rather what was in it. Then there was the uh, fist fight between Mr. Fennec and Mr. Uh, Uruburu. Over what? Over Fenwick's wife, I believe, although there was very close mouth about it. Thank you, Mr. Tenny. Oh, God. Um. Well, uh. So the Fenwick's had the fight. I don't think we care about it. Because the wife was also on board. I think that yep. accounted for basically everyone. Um. Which one was the doctor, though? That's, That's a good question. Point. So... So not the two Arabs. I guess it had to be Uruburu. But then it's not called Dr. Uruburu, it's called Mr. Uruburu. Yeah, I guess it's just we don't have to worry about the doctor, I guess? Unless That's it's the, the wife! wife. Yeah. Maybe? Because they, if they're both Mister, the only one that hasn't been called Doctor, well, hasn't been mentioned by name, is uh, Meryl Fenwick. Uh, I'm counting the the boxes sus, by the way. So we know the we know Travis was seasick, by the way, at least according to the doctor. Yeah, I was given a sedative. So I don't think he's sus. Unless, like, the sedative had, like, uh, made him go crazy, but then at the same time, then... Yeah, but then it wouldn't kill him killed... back in London. Yeah. Or in the tomb. Um... Is there any reason if you get poisoned that you might want to use, like, some clothing? On your neck? Yeah, and, uh, I mean, a doctor does seem like, like, my brain keeps going to, it has to be a doctor of some kind, because they'd have bandages on hand. Oh yeah, that as well. Um... I don't really have a motive yet. I, I guess we could go to the Fenwick house, and that's like ticking two names off. So, yeah. like... Oh, I have to get a new music. And if it was the two of them working together, I'm thinking of back in the museum when uh, the guard had to work with the professor to get the sarcophagus lid off. So it would have to be more than one person behind this. Ah, my fuck mind. my ass. It hurts. <laughs> okay. Um, we went to the university, so let me mark it. Uh, uh, James Matt sadly not northwest, available. <laughs> northwest, Northwest. So out of the Suez, sadly, out of the Suez is not the third day. Out of the Suez means out of the Suez Canal. So that is still, we don't have the date for this. That's like... Yeah. Yeah, okay, let me change the page or should I just copy uh, it? I wanna note the size of the box because it might be useful. I don't know what inches is in like centimeters, but yeah, we'll figure it out. 18 inches high. Because if we have to, like, if we figure like some sort of like weapon, we might care about it. Or anything. So, 18 in. Oh, shit. Um, okay, there we go. By... What's six inches square?
Well, I don't think we're going to get much from the Fenric household. If your PP is 18 inches, I think you, you're you going to have a problem. But a lot of suitors. Uh, so, you know. So where are we going now? You'll just, you'll just pass out from, like, lack of blood. <laughs> uh, I, I... Do we want to go to... The, well, like, I went to the... Fenric, because I said, like, we'll tick two names off, but uh -huh. uh, it's, I, I have a feeling it's a bad call, because it's a small paragraph. Um, I don't know anything about the death of whatever his name was, says Mr. Fenric. In fact, I saw him only once, just as we were boarding. I resented the first officer's questions on the matter, and I resent yours. The whole voyage was a disaster from the beginning to end. Our accommodations were abysmal, the crew were ill-mannered and surly. The I told you to book passage on a passenger ship, uh, Meryl Pipes, in uh, in Mr. Fenric. But no, you had to. Luis, don't start with me. We leave the Fenrics to their maternal ah, quarreling. Couple. Well, that was useless. Uh <laughs> Completely oh. and utterly. Well, at least we can uh, cross these two in one go. Well, then we don't know what the, what the doctor is. I think maybe it's just a general doctor part of the Unless staff, it's so we'll just never find them. We can go to Uruburu why, if you want. Why did Uruburu start a fight? It might be completely useless. I just assumed he was sleeping with his wife. But, uh... uh so we're going to Uruburu? Sure. Three, three, not west? And then we can go to the Arab. Oh. Uh, three, three, northwest. That should be the next page. Wait. Oh, wait, Northwest. I'm in the wrong one. You were already we Northwest. Yeah, it was already oh, on the is. page. I was just like, yeah. uh, I feel it. 33 Northwest. What the uh, fuck? Um, oh, that's funny. Oh, I'll get to reading it now. I just need to find 33. There's 31. 34. Here. No, that's that's the wrong area. It's oh, northwest, the... isn't it? No, you're right. Uh, did you find it? No, I'm finding all the numbers around it, but not. Oh, 33. Here we go. There you go. You found it. Yep. Why is my iPhone not uh, charging anymore? Anthony Uruburu meets us at the door with a warm smile, one eye bruised and battered, and showing most of the colors of the rainbow. Maris is otherwise dashing good looks. Come in, gentlemen. What can I do for you? We wonder if there's any information you can give us about the death of Andrew Weatherby. That was the chap aboard the ship. Very unfortunate, of course. I'd be glad to help, but I don't really know anything. Perhaps you saw something suspicious or out of the ordinary uh, with regard to Mr. Weatherby. I'm afraid I didn't see much of anything, as you might imagine. Well, Mr. Fenix responsible for your, shall we say, visual impairment? Yes, a most narrow-minded fellow, which is no doubt why Mrs. Fenric smiled at me the way she did. Then the fight was simply over an exchange of smiles, Mr. Uh, Ruru Rins Wiley. There was a bit more to it. Yeah, than okay, that. they went to fucking. Yeah. Fight. Uh, um, that was useless. Uh <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're. I think feel like we're at a stage where we need to start thinking about allies to visit. Do you not want to see the last two? Um, I, I guess we could see about the box guy. I'm actually more. More interesting than why the other one wanted it. Um, which one was the one that wanted it and which had the box? Uh, Fami had the box and also apparently was interested in it. Uh... Oh yeah, just uh... So 37, no, 19 SE. 19 SE... There it is. At the home of Aldula Al Sami, his uh, Muslim servant tells us that he's not at home. Can you tell us what he's expected? Alas, my master does not confide in this poor and humble servant. It may be that he is out only for the evening, or that uh, he'll be gone sometime. Uh, it is as my master and Allah will it. Well. 
So we might find him somewhere. Um... God damn, that was like the worst thing ever. Because we're not, we're not sure yet. Yeah, it's, it's like the classic, um, he's not at home, go to his office, but, but... we are not told where he works. Yep. Nope, oh, what the fuck? Uh, where's the other one located? Uh, 37 like something. Can I just... Hit the delete key? Uh, delete? Oh, wait, is it the text you're trying to get yeah. rid of? Oh, because it's like, it doesn't have the UI. Um... Wait, where was I going again? I lost my train of thought. 37 WC. Thirty-five, thirty-seven. Easy. Why did you take out second edition? What? Oh, uh, I didn't know you were writing those down. So when you said like get rid of the text, I just deleted oh. all text. Whoops. Oh, wait, where are you going now? To to visit the guy at the box. Oh, funny. Okay. Gotta um, this stuff. We knock on uh, Akram's uh, family's door, and it swings open of its own volition. Wiggins calls uh, family's name, but receives no answer. After a moment, we decide to enter. In the middle of the study floor, we find the body of the man we assume to be a Akram family. Oh, God. He is lying face down with a knife protruding from the middle of his back. Better call Scotland Yard, says Wiggins. While waiting for the yard, we look around. The study looks as if a struggle had taken place. On the desk lies a copy of a book of ancient Egypt. Open on a page describing a slim statue of uh, Sakhmet made of solid gold. Before we can get much further, Constable Stilton arrives on the scene. He takes our statement and shoes us out. Fuck! Well, we know what I saw it. Oh, we know I saw this sus as fuck. Probably not even related to the murder we're investigating, but like we just found another dead body. <laughs> I mean, it's still part of the expedition, so. I feel like mark down the the thing about the slim statue of gold because that might have been what was in the box. Because this is probably the B pot. Um. Uh, wait, let me... Face down from the middle of his back, stepped in the back. Okay. So... Well, uh, wait, what else do I need to note? Um, there was the, uh, it was talking about, like, a oh, slim, slim statue of gold that, like, is probably what was, uh, inside the box because it was open. Probably, <sighs> like, trying to identify whatever he had in the box and then got killed for it. Um, Let me... I feel like we'd almost want to go to Jasper or, uh, Murray. Because... I think we need to, like, start looking at allies for information. Because I say Murray will tell us more about the bandages used and perhaps maybe where we can find out where someone who'd, like, get them would go. Mm. Um, then Jasper autopsies the body, so we might learn more about, like, I don't know, the strangulation. <laughs> Uh, uh, my problem is, I would love if the allies would know about Fami's body as well, but I don't think they will, because it's just super fresh. Uh, yeah. Um, so wait, Jasper Mix might be the best for now. Wait, no, wait, wait, who, who do you think knows where the bandage comes from? Uh, okay. Well, Murray analyzes ice items and substances, so I assume that's the Let's bandages. go to Murray first. 22 uh, 
the only thing about this game is it's impossible to tell if we get nothing from Murray and then we get everything from like Jasper or vice versa. <laughs> yep. But hey. Uh, 22 SW. Is he SW? Oh yeah. Um, Shit. Yep. Well, I can mark both of them as we went there. We, but we still don't know where I saw this. I have marked it as a sus people. Also, let me write dead to Fami. Uh, oh, this is a long one. Um, we find Murray with his nose buried in a book observed enough to keep our arrival unnoticed for several minutes. Uh, we read the title, History of Egyptian Mummies. As the professor closes the tome, notices us, and immediately launches us into a lecture as if he had been expecting us. Uh, Pettigrew wrote this book over 50 years ago, and there's still no better volume on the subject. Fascinating, fascinating. Yes, Wiggins. What can I do for you today? It's Wiggins, sir. Uh, oh, it's wi Oh, he said wigs, not wigs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we're interested in what you learned from that book and from your own examination in this mummy case. Oh, so it's mummies you and Holmes are chasing these days, is it? Let me show you what I found uh, so far. Number 357, James Willibank. Uh, so saying, uh, Murray pulls out a piece of yellow linen. This was found around the neck of the victim. I examined it thoroughly, and I'm convinced that it is of great age. Indeed, it is quite possibly uh, conceived, conceivably oh, by thousands of years old. However, it was not the murder weapon. The professor takes one of his characteristic dramatic pauses before explaining further. Linen is a strong material, but over time it does uh, deteriorate somewhat. The bandage could never have withstood the force required to throttle a grown man. Did you learn anything else for the examination? Oh, nothing very interesting other than the fact that the this strip and the one found on Wellerby's body are of different widths. Given the method described by uh, Pettigrew, er, Pettigrew, it is a bit strange. I'd say that the Willowbank strip was probably used to embalm the corpse of a child or of an animal, and not that of an adult in any case. What do you think it means, Professor Murray? Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I can assure you that those bandages were not murder weapons. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, we know something that we probably could have known already. Well, uh... well, like, we, we did learn that, like, the boat murder, they used a different band, they did use a different rap. It was also of great age, but it was of different width. So one was is used to mummify people, and one is used to mummify animals. Uh, so that could be important. Like, partly it kind of puts some, like, sus points back onto Travis. I don't think like, so, because Travis would know, right? If he's trying to... He, 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 he's a red herring, but he was showing off the animal mummies he had. Yeah, but here's the thing. But, like... As I said, red it's hair. Exactly because of that, I probably wouldn't know. And if it's trying to make it like so, like oh, the mummies are doing it, then it would not do that. Quotes unquote mistake, right? Uh, yeah. As well, like as I said, red herring. Uh huh. Um. So, but who would have uh, access to linen that old? Yeah, Jasper might know because that's going to the hospital. But actually, you know that one really. Jasper will only tell us that that's not the murder weapon, yeah. unless he would know if it was poison. I don't know if we. Well, can like I'm it. pretty sure they died of strangulation, but. Well, they could have been poisoned and then inst like made it look like it was strangling. Lomax, librarian in London Library, to be consulted for all encyclopedic research. Could be an option. Wait, you know who could have had access to mummy stuff? The guys at the Egyptian exhibit. So we went there. Do we care for the... I wonder, this is the biggest long shot of all time, and I'm just curious if the name will come up. Uh, what? <laughs> there oh. was someone that got strangled, I think, in the issue before uh, the first death. 
So I'm just seeing if the name will come up, even though, like, they're dead. But you never know. <laughs> Um, I say we go to Six Not West for no reason. It's it's the the London Museum, like the Egyptian guy we already met, but that w it would be his home address. Um, sure. And if it's nothing, I guess uh, we can go to Lomax, who I think might be a good idea yep. to go to. So Six Not West. We're going to Liland. Six, 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 six. I can't wait for them to tell. Oh, I accidentally flipped Neko. Wait, course. is it Liland? Uh, Jensen. Yeah. Uh, where is six? It, no, that's the wrong one. Uh. Oh, there's five. It's oh, there's no west. <laughs> Why were you looking down there? Like I have my screen zoomed out, Ash. Okay. <laughs> I had my mouse down there because I was flipping Neko Arc while I was doing lucky. Always uh... making excuses. Why don't you make good deductions? Listen, I, I I I use all of my brain fluids in like the first. Oh, two okay, days it's not even available. Out. Never mind. We're not. We cannot go there. Okay, let's um, go to your place. <laughs> okay, five southwest. Um, What's five southwest again? It's for um. Oh god, what do you call it again? Encyclopedic knowledge. Oh, I thought you wanted to go to the struggling guy. The what? Uh, like I wanted to go to the librarian of London Library because I feel like this is like going to be the one case where that kind of information would be useful. Fair enough. Oh, actually, why am I putting this down? It's like we're done. Why? I didn't even stop. Yeah, it. yeah. It's never happened. Um. Yeah, five out west. It's a very small paragraph, so I'm very doubtful it'll be of any use. It was almost certainly a waste, but it was the an attempt was made. Uh, under mummy in the encyclopedia, we find Egyptian mummies are, are embalmed bodies preserved to facilitate their resurrection. Many mummies have been found, and they have been always, almost always, the bodies of pharaohs. The pharaohs believe that one day their bodies will be brought back to life. The History of Egyptian Mummies by Pettigrew, London, yep, we learned nothing. We're nothing. told to look at a real-life book and to go fuck ourselves. Yep. Oh, you went to Lomax? Yep. Yeah. Um... Should we should we go to Porky? Uh, what does Porky do? Again? Uh, Raven and Rat Tavern. Uh, maybe that might do the B plot. Yeah, let's. I mean, you never know. It might not be the B yeah, plot. Yeah. <laughs> the, that Remember is the when thing we thought the lies were the B plot? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Denton's coroner's office. It's five two EC. Five two EC. EC. Five two. You did say EC, right? EC, yes. Okay. Uh, Let's see, second edition. Two. Perky Sinwell shrugs his shoulders at our questions. The only thing I heard had to do with the ship itself, the uh, Eastern Express. Yeah, that's it. There was a couple of blokes in there some weeks ago. Never seen them before and haven't seen them since. One was a, a Swarpty fellow. A um, Arab, 
Unless I miss my guess, the other was an English gentleman, 50 or so. I overheard them say something about a bird and later caught the name of the ship. Don't know what it means or if it helps you. Fuck you. Yeah. So we know one of the Arab guy was the guy from the 50. I have no clue without be. Oh, God. Man. It's always like this. Oh, yeah. What was I looking for again? I was going to see if I could do a... Uh... You had the guy who was strangled already, right? Yeah, but it was like... It was just like suspect thief found strangled. Just at, like right. a massive jump. But, um... <sighs> thinking, thinking. Do we want to go to the times? Because they technically employed Travis. Sure, I guess. Uh, times is... 30 EC. EC. Henry Ellis welcomes us to his office and asks how he might help us. We're investigating the so-called mummy murders. Can you tell us anything about the newspaper articles? Uh, Ellis does not try to hide a rather smirky grin at the mention of mummies. It's quite amusing, all the hoopla over the mummy's curse. I must say, not so amusing, of course. The murder of the three Englishmen. He hastens to add, assuming a more serious demeanor for perhaps half a minute. Actually, I've been in Paris for several weeks, and... Just returned to London on Tuesday. I've had no involvement with the writing of any of these articles. I believe they are all the work of Philip, Philip Travis. He is a reporter for the Times. Until recently, he was the Egyptian correspondent. He returned to London just a few days ago. I gathered he was assigned to cover the case here because he had some familiarity with the murder in Egypt. Uh, do you know Travis? No, I've never actually met him. I do bear. He's a bit of a strange duck, though rather... Com competent yeah. thank you for the help and like henry anytime let me know if uh, you catch the mummy there are now four different leads to travis so he's clearly not the guy i i honestly i'm not really sure why you wanted to go to the newspaper because uh, i was hoping they will also have other extra info i guess yeah but it was um, just like yeah no it's like it was written by this guy but yeah, if they're gonna just tell us, oh no, it's just that guy, I have no clue. Uh... God, are we just <sighs> missing something in the newspaper? Why will I be mad? I think B plot might be relevant though. Because when you think about it, there's always money on the table because the statue is made of like solid gold. Yeah. Which means they were like transporting it. Could it be that they're trying to make like the the thing of the Mumikers so they can just get their hands on that? Because if they can like cancel the the exhibition, if they steal the thing, then no one will notice. I don't know. Uh, Where else can I even go? We have to find the fucking guy. He's he's on the fucking run. I we I wanna find I wanna find the guy. I want to find well, where do we think he'd go? Yeah, that's a good oh. fucking question. I have no clue where else Sod could be. Pawnbroker, maybe? Huh. The question is which one? There's two to pick from. Well, there's only one we can go to, which is two. Wilson. Oh, wait, yeah, wait, 73 EC. Does it go that high? Uh, we can try? Yeah, no, it does. Uh, well, like, there's two um, pawnbrokers, because there's four... Oh, wait, no, there is there's only, only one. There's only one. Yeah, let's fucking do it. I mean, if it exists... Oh, yeah, that is a good question. I'll check first. Um... Nope. Nope. Yeah, nope. told you. Uh... Hmm. 
the guy um... would be? Are there any... Where would you bring... Jewelers, maybe? Okay. I don't think they would get a fucking statue, though. That mm. seems a bit too much. Do we want to go for the police gazette? It's one of the allies. But I think that's a bit too much. Let me check the other page. Where the fuck would an Arab guy go? What the syna- oh, synagogues. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no, that's too much. Well, like, uh, they mentioned- the- the would he be trying mentioned to leave the Allah, country? so maybe he went to, like, pray or something. He could just be at the synagogue. After, just after committing murder? Yeah, uh, pray for forgiveness? I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh... You know what? If it's on the list, I want to go there. Let's go to the Great Synagogue. There's only one anyway. Okay, 21, 21 Southwest. Um... Oh, Sonic, thank you for the drink up. I was already drinking. I'll drink some more. Yeah, no, it's not there. <laughs> now you were on the pitch before. Hey, was I on? I, I was I thought... on South. It was yeah, you Southwest. Were on... I was on Northwest. Oh, you were on Northwest. Okay, never mind. Where is fucking Southwest? What video would you roll? Oh wait, did it not oh, work? Oh, okay. It only goes up to 22, okay. I'll try, I'll try again. That's kind of weird that it doesn't work. Wait, can, try writing something? I'll try it myself. Okay, that does work. For some reason the video didn't uh... work. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna redeem it uh, as soon as the thing times out. I'm still not done with like the streamer tool feature to just let me re redo stuff. Sadly. 21. Where the fuck would the guy go? Um, Do we want to go to the Somerset house? What's the Somerset house? Yeah, it's the Registry of Deads. But then... Because... Cause I think we're still missing a date for the death, but that doesn't also wouldn't tell us anything. So probably not worth going there. Wait, we can go there? Uh, Fuck it, I wanna just see what it says. Okay, 17 WC. Uh, there we I know go. it's probably useless, but at this point... We've never At been Somerset there. At House, we look up the wills of the victims. James Willowbank left everything to his wife, uh, Hildegard. Andrew Weatherby did not have a will because he was so young, but that also indicates that he had little or no value possessions to leave anyone. Ebenezer Turnbull left what Lily had to Egyptology Department at London oh, University. No. So Wait, what? Sorry. It was just their wills and what they left to, so it's like wife, nothing, and... Um, mm, okay. University. Okay, let me try to do the the, the redeem again. The Sonic, why are you? Wow, it's actually broken. Ah. Uh... Well, that sucks. Why is it not working? One second. I have no clue. I will have to look into this. Oh, it sucks. Uh, I am out of options. Say visiting all the allies. I have no clue what to do. Are there any names that we haven't uh, gone to yet? We've gone to Jardine. We went to Ramsey. We went to Tani. Uh, say going to the cemetery accident guy. Only goes up to 52, okay. Wait, did we go to... I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, it actually it doesn't work, what the heck? Wait, what do you mean Kakyoin? 
Wait, what? You guys are not seeing the shit post, are you? Do we just go to Jasper? Just get the autopsy and see if there's anything? At this point, yeah, let's do it. 380C. Yeah, right. You, you, you shouldn't... I'm not watching. I'm not seeing either. I think it's broken for some reason. I tried refreshing it, but... Um... As we enter the autopsy laboratory, oh, we see we found Jasper. I can't refund the ship toast. I'm sorry. Um, pulling an almost wait. We see Sir Jasper pulling an almost white sheep over the cadaver. Uh, can we have a word with you, Sir Jasper? Ask uh, ask Wiggins. Uh, Wiggins, of course. Oh wow, this is um, broken as well. What the fuck? My things are broken. Uh, uh, I can refund you that one. Don't uh, why it's happening, though. Oh, Wiggins, of course. Just let me wash up. So Jasper walks over to the sink against the wall. Are you investigating the death of Samuel Sneed? I just finished with him. I no, am... we're invest interested in James Willowbank. Oh, of course. The oh, yeah, I went sub dead. Okay, Who one second. Holmes, uh, Tukin Bauman. Ha <laughs> ha. Failed no, ping fact, pong? Oh, shit. No, in fact, we don't have a client. Just for fun, huh? Well, about the only thing I can tell you is that it was the mummy. It has powerful hands. The trachea was crushed along with one of the vertebrae on the neck. Death was instantaneous, that simple snap. The papers report that the mummy's wrappings uh, were found around the neck. Okay, now Just the window dressing. It was bare That's hands. Normal, I think. The, bru the bruises and the way that the vertebrae were crushed leave no doubt about that. There's no, not much more forever. that I can offer you. Okay, one second. Hey. Uh, uh, sorry, I feel I'm not following anything because I'm having technical issues. Yeah, no problem. Um, uh, I'll just uh, check something while you're doing that. Uh, wait. How the fuck? How the fuck do I get to the desktop? Uh, Windows D. Start streamer tool. Windows D again. Oh shit, now it minimized everything else. Oh wait, no, it would be K. Uh, uh, try writing to chat. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now it works. Now the super wheel should work too, but I have to reset the cooldown and everything. That sucks. Oh, let me try the... the uh, what was the fucking thing? Yes. Need ominity. Okay, now it works. Oh, wowza. That coaster looks like a blast. But I'm not paying that much to go on it. Live a little. Why don't you make the price a little cheaper, you know? And get the frick out of here. Hey, how about you Where the fuck is the... You God, I hate planks? Twitch! I hate and Twitch so much! What the fuck? Circus attraction? You weathered, rotting skeleton of two no, eye can't go to his place. Fucking big dummy bitch. What the actual fuck? Why would I care about these? Why does Twitch keep resetting my, my fucking quick actions? Uh, okay, I can refine you, your wheel, and mark the others. And yeah, we'll throw them cool down. I I'm sorry, still going. I don't want to reset it. Uh, what did you say about me, by the way? Oh fuck you! Uh, confirmation okay. that they were triangle with bare hands to the point that their vertebrae like was fucking crushed and they instantly died. So, which actually, strangling? which actually brings me back to the suspect thief found strangle, where they say it was done with bare hands and it had to be an extremely powerfully built man. <laughs> so we have not met, met anybody that could perform the fucking murder so far, which is just wonderful. Yep. Oh God. So we have no physical qualities of any of the guys, right? Yeah, no, they'd have to be extremely strong because it's like instantly killing somebody but just squeezing on their neck strength. So it's probably not st the only guy we're not we're not fucking accounting for is Old Saud. It's so fucking ridiculous. 
We have to find a guy. Yeah, but like, but like, he would have just used his bare hands if he was the guy that murdered the others. That's right. That's why. Like... Because he stabbed him with a knife in the back. So it's like, why use a knife when you could just use your fucking hands? Also, there was a struggle, and if they were that strong, I think the struggle would be very one-sided. So. What's that? Uh... How, do... How was there a struggle if he got stabbed in the back? Well, we were told that, like, there was evidence of a struggle in the room, and then he got, like, a knife in him, probably the back at some stage during the scuffle, like... So he was not caught by surprise. So probably Fami also wasn't a killer. Because if he had a strong hand, he would have just fucking killed the other guy. Yep. Unless knife wins over hands, but... Oh, no. Uh... Was it Fenwick? Kazuro Buru got a big punch to the face. He got a punch to the face, but he got it was a big just bruise. Like... Yeah, but like I feel like the other guy it would be a lot worse, and also it was very briefly mentioned. Like they only had like a small paragraph. Like that's nothing to go on. I don't know. Is there anything in the news about, like, some, like, very strong person doing strong things? So... But what you're saying is that it's all different killers? Well, like, the thing is, if they were strong enough to just crush the guy, then they wouldn't have needed a second person with the sarcophagus, probably. Oh, yeah. They probably could have moved it themselves. Oh. So they have, like, the strength of, like, Somebody two people or something. Why I hate the military? No, I'm telling you. If it's the same person that killed all three, he has to be one of the passengers. Yeah. Or he was, like, one of the, like, or, like, one of the staff on the ship. But then I guess nobody was like strong that we saw. We have no names. We have the captain, but the captain said nothing. What? Um. Oh, you think they might have come now? Oh, I just happened to have my mouse there. Um. Oh, okay. I have no clue what we... I, I want to find the guy with the knife. I think Hosad would definitely be a lead somehow. How the fuck do we find that guy? Also, I have no music. What the fuck? Oh. I do have it. I had to lower the volume because one of the videos was so fucking loud. Well... <sighs> Received a concussion to the brain. Oh, because he fell. Um... And okay, I don't know that. Um... He said the one still may accumulate it. God, we're gonna look so dumb when we give up and Sherlock just tells oh us. Oh my god, I already know. I'll make it worse. <laughs> this is gonna be upsetting.
Nope. Uh... Wait, what the fuck? Uh, what company owned the ship, actually, might be a good thing to look into. Uh, we went there. We talked we to the captain. We didn't no, we, went, to, we like... went to the Jardine. They had the list of passengers. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, what the fuck? I have s nothing. Wait. Well, uh, we know when the ship left. It was March fifth. Mason and Co. Wait. Oh, yes, Jardine Mason and Co. is a single company, right? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just out left, yeah. Man, the attention to detail in this game is nuts. Look at this. Wait, how do I. Yeah, I don't know. I read it from, like, seeing you looking at it. I have nothing. <laughs> uh... Are we supposed to know to like find like gyms or whatever? To find like just big men? I mean, maybe... Um... Uh, Amateur Athletic Association? Does that exist? I, I wanna be... Uh, okay. Uh... Nor Northwest, right? Where is yeah, Northwest? Yeah, 8 Northwest. If it exists, we're going there. Nah, yeah. 7 and 9, but no way. Um... Uh, football, friend of Wait to lacrosse, tennis, life stage, We have no clue that they might be one of those. I feel like it would be like a boxing club or something would be the most likely. Yeah. Trying to see if I find any any like uh familiar name here. 
Scotland Yard, maybe? Do you want to go to... I might go to Scotland Yard, I guess, but I don't think they will have anything. But at this point, it was Probably so not. fucking... Uh, what is this um, Scotland Yard? 13 SW. 13. Oh yeah, for us a different color. Okay. Okay, let's go to Scotland Yard. I mean, where points are gone anyway. Uh, what home's working on now? Is supposed to be needing the yard's help again. Greets Lestrade as we enter his office. He's asked us to look into Will uh, Windebank's death. Should have known that murder was brought out every crack in the city. I think the professional police can wrap this one up. Can you tell us what? You have, at the moment, a dead archaeologist, nothing more, no suspect, no motive. There is nothing I can really tell you. What about Waterby's death? Have you looked into it? I have talked to Captain Ramsey and a fish uh, and officers, but we have no leads. Look, I'm ju I'm not even sure Willoughby's uh, murder falls into our yeah, jurisdiction. Yeah, I, I figured they would have nothing yeah. of uh, absolute shit. Uh, listen, I still want to go to Quentin Gog, because... Uh, source of information on criminal affairs. I want to know if someone is looking for that statue. It's 3-5 EC. Okay. Is that it? I think it is. I said easy, by the way. Yeah. 3 5, you said? Yep. Uh, Quint Hogs receives uh, us in the uh, Claret office. I can't say that I have anything to offer in the case. One thing, however, that did strike me interesting was a passenger lift, uh, list of the em Eastern Empress. Not that I can say it had anything to do with the mummy murders. Arkham uh, Fahami is the procurer of wide reputation. For a price, a considerable price by all accounts, he can acquire whatever one heart's desire. Be it jewels, art objects, wild animals, or anything else one can think of. My guess is that he was transporting something of value to London at the behest of one of the wealth our wealthier residents. The presence of um, Abdullah al Saad aboard the ship was also interesting. He's a no agent of the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Whatever it was that uh, Fabami was carrying must have been of concern to the Turk. There's no Turkish embassy. I've already looked into it, but maybe there's something similar. Yeah. Where the fuck would a Turk be? I mean, I feel like it's definitely the side plot where we have all the information we need, so it's like we're not like. Oh, hmm. Because, like, think about when we were going hard in on, like, the fucking Irish people, and then it turned out they were just painting walls. It's like, that's the... It's like, who murdered this guy? Oh, it was the other guy. Well, I have nothing. Um... So, that's literally the only lead we have. But then again, we don't really know where to look for it. Did... We never went... To... Did we go to... What? what? Wait, did we... Did we go to Weatherby's house? Uh oh. AEC. I think you did we? No. We did, oh, we not, did not. But it was marked off. Huh. Well, what's the place again? You... Uh it's eight EC. Okay. Um, Andrew Weatherby's landlord led us into his apartment. It's a small place comfortably appointed to, uh, with minimum furniture on a desk in one corner of the room. We find several bound volumes comprising Weatherby's personal journal. We pick up one and flip through the pages. Uh, an entry dated back to June 12th, 1888 catches our eye. It reads, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Um... I've been chosen for the um, exhibition. Sorry, it's uh, upset, but I won't let his it. bad temper and his harsh words. Oh, Travis. Word. And yeah, his Travis. harsh words for my um, 
elation already the the work of preparation must begin, must begin. Meeting, meeting with, with Wendy tomorrow what an opportunity, uh, opportunity for me I must be the luckiest man alive on okay, 12th man. of June fucking northern this is from 11 June. Uh, what was the name of... I know we went to his place already, but um, who's Dr. Turnbull? Uh, I'll do you flip stuff again. F. Oh, this is July 4. Oh no, we can't. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we did go seven northwest of our of right, but I'll just because I think it was nothing, but we did go there. Or did we? What? Uh, did we ever go to the bur like the first victim's house? Uh. We don't have a pin house. on it. 12 Northwest? Wait. Uh, wait, was I already in Northwest? Yeah, we went to Windy Bank. It's third location. I just want to double check it. Um. Book emerges on shelves, one large, several Egyptian service here to visit. Did you know that he was the son of an earl? Never know it, would you? Do you really think that the mummy thing done him in? Creepy, I say. I don't remember that. What? Uh. Seven Northwest. 12, 12 Northwest. What do you think? Seven? Because that's where it says he lives in the book. Wait, what? Unless it was a relative I went to. Wendy Bank James is 12 Northwest. Oh no, you got No, seven. I'm talking about the verse victim, Turnbull. Oh no, we never went to Turnbull. Ew. Uh. Okay, I'll set it. I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with the points. Because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The landlady shows us to Ebenezer Turnbull's small flat. He was a strange one, always trapezing around to Lord knows well, hardly ever home. As the landlady prowls on, we conduct our books of the place. There are books everywhere, but on the shelves where they belong. On a large oak desk are several open drawings dealing with Egypt and several sketch maps of the area of Turnbull's last ill-fated expedition. Did you know he was the son of an earl? Never know it, would you? Do you really think that might think did him? Creepy, I says. Where will... Can we talk to the Earl that he's related to? Where would an Earl be? I honestly think this guy might have just been... Actually died because of an accident. Like the first death? Or... Yeah. Well, like he was found with the... Like we have the newspaper article about how he died. And it was the exact same setup. He was like oh. next to the sarcophagus and he had the bandage around his neck. That has to be the fucking... One of the fucking guys. I honestly think it might be Fennec. Can we go back to 9 Northwest? Oh... Uh... Cause see, Fenwick was insistent on on boarding that specific ship. Yeah, I just remember there being nothing there because he just bitched about how shitty it was, and then his wife cut him off. Yeah, and he was like, it, "No, the wife was like, no, you had to board that specific ship." And he was like, "Don't start." Mr. Which I think be... mean might mean that. We know nothing about fucking the fucking Fenwick. 
I mean, than... it's better than fucking nothing. Um, like, it's the only person that seems to have, like, shown strength in any regard. Um, where, where, where do, where would Earl's list? Um, uh, no, that was a waste of we time. Have no um, information on Fenwick. That's the issue. We don't even know what the guy was about. Wait, was Fenwick? A student, I wasn't, right? The only students were Weatherby and Travis. Yeah. Why are the other guys doing that then? Oh, probably just coming back from Egypt. Why were they on Egypt for the in the first place? Uh, well, with the, that is actually a good question. Um, because. Where is uh Okay, yeah, no, that's not there. Um Can you I I still wanna push a bit on the B plot. Can we try to find any news about the, the Ottoman Sultan? Um Sure, I can try. Sir Evelyn Baring will proceed to England via Marsalis on the 6th. Uh, during the absence of Mr. Portal, will be in charge of the British Diplomacy Agency. That's an Egypt thing. Sir Evelyn Baring. I can't find anything. Oh, actually, do we want to do we want to try to go to Evelyn Baring? I don't think they will even. I was looking for her. I couldn't find her. There's no Baring. Uh, nope. That is unfortunate. Um. I'm gonna gonna do a, a super long shot. No portal either. British diplomacy. Yeah, no, that one. Be... Oh, I want to find this. Hmm. Let me check with. There's nothing about Egypt or Turkey. On directly. <sighs> I have nothing. Oh, my God. Little Egypt makes a hit. Hmm? Uh, new pianist perfume. Little Egypt stepped out of measure. Of my luck to open it. Uh, oh, that's just a pianist.
Oh wait, do we want to go to Little Egypt? And that's Atasu Asqui. I mean, we can try. Probably it's not even in the list. Probably not, cause she was deported. <laughs> oh, wait. But maybe? like, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's still there. I don't know. What's the name again? Um, Hadasu Asquith. For EC. For EC. We can try. Nope. Starts at eight. Nope. Well, we tried. Um. I am actually out of. We are out of leads and we're even like one hour early. Usually, usually it takes a long more. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of upsetting. This game is so fucking hard. Yeah, it just got hard with each case. Um. <laughs> Uh... We would want to try to go for the C plot and just go to James Johnston. <laughs> Mean if you want. I mean, at this point, I literally don't know what else to do. Might as well just explore random places. No? I mean, sure, go if you want to go for it. I want to see what it's all about. So, James Johnston is. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, Johnston. There's no Justin James. Oh, shit. Uh, what's the other page? Well, this page. Like, yeah, that's it. We wanna go to Brody's task force. Sure, if you can find it. Brody's task. I mean, I don't, I don't think I will find it, but it's funny if we do. Wait. So are the recent moment fair points up a fact I've nope. been trying to convince my fellow Britishers of something quite some time. Crimes, particularly those of a serious. Shouldn't we act now to restrict access to the Blobit Isle before a tragedy comes for us? Johnny Bulldog Trend. I swear to fuck if this is actually something. <laughs> Um, no, it doesn't seem like it. there's no bulldog. Ah, <sighs> fucking hell, I have no clue where we would find the fucking old guy. I wanna find the also guy. Rent Jenny. 78 SE. So we went to 19 SE, which is also. Can we just go back to also for a second? Well, I want I want to check something first. I just need to find SE. No, I also want to find SE. So was it three? Okay. Oh, it's um... only those two. Okay, that's not gonna be it. Do we go to 11 as well? Oh yeah, Tony. We went here. Okay, so we know the entire page. Seventy-eight. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be it. Okay. God damn it! Hmm. 
Wait, Indian and Egyptians. What the fuck are the Indians? No Indian embassy either. We have the India office. Do we want to go to the foreign office? Sure. The Southwest go up to 92. <laughs> so, uh, Southwest, Southwest. I it doubt it. Not, it you it don't seem not. to go over 50, you know. It's yeah, like... okay, never mind. I have nothing. We know it's not the pawnbroker. Gonna be at the embassy. Um, and what the fuck will it be? There's an ally for foreign affairs. Oh, uh, I should probably go there then. Uh, Which one is it? 30 EC. Were we not there already? Yeah, we were. It's the times. Uh, Wait, did I do it wrong? Wait, what? 30s? Yeah, 30s. Oh, yeah. Is, Journalist yeah. of the fucking London Times. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Um... I think we went to most of this at this point. Except for, like, old legal and criminal, but I don't think we care for that. Uh, Pike? All gossip currently going around? I mean, what are they shot? To SW. Uh, yeah, not much. This is, this is just another one where we're just slowly losing our fucking minds. Um, yeah, when, when, when there's nothing there. We are absolutely destroyed. There's nothing. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! You're so stupid! I'm just thinking of the clip from uh, the, what do you call it, Weird Al movie, where he does, like, the TV station. Um, I know very little, little about the principles of the case. Um, turn... Bull was the third son of the Earl of Downey. As I understand it, at the age of six, he began excavating a Roman room and Ro Roman ruin on the family's country estate. He'd been going at it ever since. An eccentric of small note, he neither married nor took his rightful place in London society. Wildebeck was no more or less a quiet university man who took care of his studies without noticing the rest of the world and without being noticed. He, however, had a bad habit of giving in to his gorgeous wife on edge everything, a bookworm and a princess. I always wondered what she saw in him. In any case, on each of their outings, um, all anyone could see was her with her toiletries coming from the greatest uh, quarters from Paris and him tailing behind her like a lovelorn puppy. She outlived him. Oh, Weatherby, I can tell you nothing. Well, that was useless. Uh, oh, um... oh. I am so fucking upset. I can't think of literally anything. Do we want to go to Sherlock Holmes at this point? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the alternative is just giving up. We'll see. Oh, if wait, we get movement anything. of suspect. Do, let's go to the stables. 
Five, five West Central. Okay. Where's, where's five? Do you have your mouse over five? Oh, no, there's five. Um. Uh, I forgot what, what place we were, though. Five what? Five cent... West Central... Yes. Um... <laughs> what? It's literally a sentence. The Central Dispatcher at the carriage stables tells us that hundreds of people take cabs to the museum every day and that it would never be po like it would be impossible to remember if any of them looked suspicious. Shit. Yeah. Who the fuck is Stilson? Stilson? It's the guy that took our statement on the other one. Oh, like he's just someone that works for Scotland Yard, I guess. Yeah, it's a constable. Hmm. I can't, like, I bet if we go to Sherlock, we'll get nothing. Then we give up, and then it's like, oh yeah, here's, like, exactly how to do it. It's like, yep. fuck off. I, I, I think we, we could do that at this point. I literally have nothing. Fortuna West End? Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, Northwest. I was in the wrong section. What? Sherlock Holmes is bent over his re retorts and is performing a strange chemical experiment where he enters the living room. Well, now, Wiggins, how goes the hunt for the mummy? Nothing really great, sir, I'm afraid. I must admit that a bit of help wouldn't be in this. Come now, Wiggins, retort Holmes. The case doesn't seem so complex to me, you fucking bastard. <laughs> to start with, there ain't half any potential culprits, especially if our suspects have been a mum, uh, have an annoying tendency to disappear. London is truly a large city, but I think that a well guarded dig site is, or even a boat are places that are sufficiently sealed to largely restrict the range of your investigation. Get a move on, Wiggins, and remember my lessons. Being somewhat pathetic, we exit Baker Street, leaving Holmes to his mysterious occupation. Literally, literally <laughs> just look at the list. It's one more on the list. Oh. You know what? Shit. Yeah, let's, are we just giving up? I think we give up. Okay, let's, go, <sighs> let's get the answers. I, I feel like... Oh, fuck. Uh, who killed Ebenezer Turnbull? Oh, see, it's, is it three different people then? Well, like, that was implied by, like, the different sizes of the, um... You said, but uh, it was the same, I think. Well, they were, all, they were both ancient, but one was, like, distinctly thinner than the other. So, like, they used different wraps, but, like, they were legit, but, like, not the same. So, who killed who? Um, hmm. Um. So, when the bang was killed here, he has to have been killed. He could have been killed by anyone. Man, this sucks. Um, well, at least we have all of the part two qu answers. Do we? <laughs> Who killed um, Akim uh, for me? It was Abdullah El Saad. Yeah, but which uh, object the passed? The uh, one that, like, the one that was in the book, the statue. Was thing. it? Okay. Well, like, that's what we assumed was in it. So, like, that's at least an answer. And then, how are the victims killed? Uh, like, their throats just, or like, their vertebrae crushed by bare hands. <laughs> or just, like, strangled or whatever with bare hands. Um, uh, well, wrangle 
all of them were strangled by bare hands? Um, well, we were told that, like, the murder weapon wasn't the the wrap because mm. it would just snap. Um, so it, and that, and that, like, at least, I mean, like, how are the victims killed? Well, we know how one of the victims killed, so it must be the same for the others, then, if it's saying how Yeah, but are... if it's different people, are they all really good at strangling? Well, I mean, with one case, the vertebrae was broken, so they were very strong, but then that doesn't mean that, like, the other ones just weren't normally strangled. Mm -hmm. Two killed, we know it was also... Which object? What was the statue again? Um... Oh. A solid gold statue of... Zekiment... 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 Okay. So, uh... uh... Andrew Withered by why was he murdered? Okay, God, why were these guys murdered? Uh, are we assuming that they're all fucking all did it in some way? I mean, but then there's like the why were they murdered, which is just like fuck. I mean, what if I might have been Travis, and we know why, but that doesn't really explain it. God damn it, how- You see, if I were to like guess, I'd say that like, James was probably killed by Ben Wick. Who the fuck is Ben Wick? Oh, Fenwick. The, the, like, yeah, like the guy who like, punched your man in the face. So like, he seems to be the one that would be strong. Then I think Weatherby was killed by Travis because he had the like thinner animal wraps that were but used to kill him. Why would be killed by Fenwick? Because he was jealous. Because he desperately wanted to get on the dig site and he lost it to him. No, no. Why would Fenwick kill? Uh. He has no motive. I mean, it's... We have no motive He's the whatsoever. only one that makes sense to have done it, but we don't have a motive. Um... And then who the fuck would kill Ebenezer Turnbull? It's... Travis could have killed both Weatherby and Windybank. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I think I got the why um, Fenric did it. Remember, we went to the ta like to the bar, and we were told that, like, um, your man met up with a Britishman. Yeah? So that might have been them being like, okay, we need to cover up that, like... Like, it might have been a cover-up to be like, we don't want them to know that we, like, took the statue or whatever, or them to, like tell anybody so take them out so like we were on the boat but no one would know about the statue because they were too busy uh wait wh which which one would this cover windy bank uh fenwick no like fen i think fen i think fenrick met up like because this was back in a this was back in england like after the oh. boat trip a Britishman met up with um, yeah, yeah. Abdul, like an Arab, which was probably Abdullah. And then it was like, and like he seems to be on a clear cover up of, I need to get this statue back and make sure nobody knows about it. Right. Like it's it's like a massive jump, and I'll probably not it's true. It's the only but thing like we have. All, the only thing we have. Uh. And we got okay. nothing for Ebenezer. I guess we just pick a random name for the murder and we just hope it's right. <laughs> I think the second one could be Travis. 
Yeah, Weatherby is Travis, and then it was like jealousy, and then uh, because and like we know he had the the appropriate rap. Seems too obvious. It yeah. seems too like there's three murderers and there's like eight people on the fucking boat, <laughs> two of which are dead. The fuck kill Ebenezer though? That's so dumb. My, and with Ebenezer, to... it could be literally anybody. Well, it would have to be somebody in the. Oh, dig it site. could have been. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. It was Fami to steal the statue. Oh, yes, yes. That that is it. Yeah, to steal the statue. Uh... Then we have Travis for jealousy and Fami to cover up the statue theft. It might oh, be no, too. To cover up, yeah. It might seem too obvious, but remember Okam's Razor is a thing? What what is that? Uh Yeah. No, nah, I don't like know. A... I, I, well we'll see. Okay, we yeah. have we have our answers. I don't fucking care we went all over the globe for this at this point. Um Like if this is right, we had like all the information like ten locations ago. But yeah. It's like... It felt like we had nothing. We didn't have it. Nah, we went to some random uh, places like the the rat, the tavern. We yeah, had I guess. Um, well, Watson, let's uh, let me set your mind to rest. I think you have been have a suspect other than the mummy. Come, Holmes. I never thought for a moment that it was the mummy. What balderdash! I know, Watson. I know the mummy did have one thing in common with the murder, other than the victims. They were the only ones present at each murder. Well, of course, Holmes, you state the obvious. But the important thing, Watson, is to see the obvious things. And first, we had two elements which made this rather ca this rather simple case. First, the place where the murders took place allows us to limit the number of suspects. Then, the fact that these subjects were assassinated one after another considerably reduced the possibilities. Limit the number of suspects? The first murder took place in Egypt, the second on both, the third in London. Seems that there are many possible subjects, the population of Egypt and that of London. No, not at all, Watson. Taking into account the common mo uh, modus operandi, we could easily deduce that these murders were linked. The vast, uh, this vastly limits the number of suspects, especially in the case of the boat. According to the newspapers, the Eastern Empress was in Bombay at the time of the first murder. We can thus eliminate the crew members from our list of suspects. Everything, therefore, centered around the members of the expedition. Our first step was, th was thus a meeting with Lawrence... Feld, heading the Egyptology department at London University, the first instigator of the Cape Bet expedition. He could give us the name of Travis. It seems that Travis had been an Egyptology student and that had been under Professor James Windebank's tutelage. He tried to be part of the expedition but was turned down by Windebank. Uh, Weatherberry had chosen in his stead, which affected Travis. A nice suspect in truth, more so since a telegram sent to the science confirmed that he had managed to follow the expedition to Egypt as a correspondent. Come on, you can so count the fucking telegram to the Times as a lead. Uh, so this Travis is our carpet. Well, like, they're talking about how, like, he went on the expedition okay. despite not actually being a part of it. Okay. So this Travis is our culprit. You're going too fast, Watson. Even if Travis had made a nice culprit, many evidence quickly proved to be that he couldn't be implicated in all of the murders. First off, his, arc, his first article clearly shows that he could never enter the tomb and thus committed the first murder. Then a conversation with Luther Ten Tenney, uh, who led the in investigation of the death of Weatherbury, clearly right. proved to me that he couldn't was be sick. implicated in the second. Oh yeah, I forgot about that shit. So, more so Tenney, by telling me of the tormented void of the East Eastern Empress gave me one of the missing keys. Why would Weatherbury, in the middle of the storm, feel the need to verify the contents of the expedition crates? Probably because he realized that an item of great value was missing. From then on, only one person could have stolen the item from the tune. You mean James w Windybank? Yes, Watson, Windybank. With Turnbull and Weatherbury dead, tra Travis out of the loop, there remains only him. Uh, when Feld mentioned his insistence at being named at the head of the expedition, I say, started being suspicious about him. The conversation with Tenny often only confirms my doubts, but I was lacking a motive, and I thus consulted Landgrave Pike about Windebank. He revealed to me that Windebank, madly in love with his wife, was spending a fortune to keep up her lifestyle. From then on, everything was clear. Windebank was probably paid to bring back the item from the tomb, 
He was unfortunately surprised by Turnbull and killed him, disguising his misdeed and imp improvising around a course. Uh, but of course, Weatherbury didn't believe the story and probably guessed Windebank's implication when he saw him chatting with Akram uh, Fambi, uh, who apparently transporting a highly precious eye object. He wanted to be certain and thus took uh, thus looked for proof in the inventory. But Windy Bank was very uh, wary uh, and killed the poor Weatherbury, giving at the going at the same time importance of the story of the curse. But then how did he die as well? Come on, Watson, think. Who remains? Travis, of course, and for him, the motive is rather simple to imagine. Oh. Travis, Egyptology student, was never far from the, from the murders. Pr uh, probably oh. guessed that the mummy didn't have much to do with the whole thing. However, he understood that he, he could take advantage of the story or a curse to take revenge on Windebank. And while being covered by the story invented by the latter, the irony is in the end, Windebank was a victim of his own plot. I agree with Holmes. It was it a simple case. It was a simple case. case. Thank you for the so, follow, Vitaly so, so, so we got, like, two of the murderers correct, but for the wrong murders. Yep, and we completely under got Fenwick wrong. Uh, so, okay, Holmes done. solved the case by following four leads. <laughs> London University, The Times, Luther, Tenney, Okay, and Times. Lang Sale Pike. He then used the following articles in the newspaper, recent excavations of Egypt, uh, archaeologists then tomb, shifting departures, and mummy strikes again. Um, well, we got all the beat lot. <laughs> yeah, Windebank, uh, he discovered that Windebank stole something. The B bot and the, the well, A plot the, and the, the B plot can't... were together, but like we didn't like fully put that together. Uh, who killed Andrew Weatherbury, James Windebank? Um, who killed James Windebank, Phillips Travis? Wow, we actually got one point. We only got the stool, and not even correctly. Um, we thought yeah. Fami stole the statue. Uh, why was he murdered? Vengeance. Well, like I guess jealousy is close enough, but like no, because jealousy is to the other guy. But vengeance. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but if we had it in six. Then it would be like, yeah. Well, I guess it'd be vengeance because it was to his teacher, not the yep. other student. Um, uh, yeah, who killed him? The other guy, the object passed the golden statue. Yeah, how were the victims killed? They were strangled bare hands. Um, uh, tell you the score, add the points, don't count the free. I like how it always says, don't count the free ones, and there was only free ones in the first case. So far, yeah. Um, dear God, there's so many places we went to. Uh, uh, 20 times 5 is? I think it's 100. So minus 100 plus yeah. 5 plus 5 to 20, uh, minus 70. I think that's the worst yet. Yeah, like we we arguably didn't do that bad, but we kind of did. Well, like we got we we got like two of the murders right just for the wrong murders. So it's like we we actually like had like we were using the right information. It's just we assembled it incorrectly. Yeah, it's better than like oh we actually Boy. knew nothing by the end. Like at least we knew we actually had the pieces. It's just. It wasn't like, oh, you should have went to this place because of this newspaper article, and then you would have figured everything out. It was just like... We, we nah, really you, did you have all had... the info, yeah. It's kind of insane. Yeah, but it didn't feel like we did. I mean, uh, worst, if we, even if we got all correctly, we would have gotten like 20 points, because we had minus 100. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just the back. Yep. Oh! Uh... Oh, God. My God. <laughs> Well, jeez, I'm not. GG. I don't know if I'm looking forward to the next one because the difficulty has been ramping up and we've not been catching up at all. <laughs> nope. Um, oh boy. Well, I, at, I, at least honestly, this time. I honestly peaked in like the second case, and it's just been downhill ever since. <laughs> 
at least this time uh, it's not like a bullshit reason or something that we didn't know. Yeah, it, it wasn't like, like it's hypnoti- like hypnotism. We had all the information and it was possible to assemble it. We just failed to do so. Oh, the leap of uh, faith to think of the Windy Bank going at it. Oh, I didn't think about it. Um. Well, uh... yeah, it's it's like we had. I think it's just we forgot too many bits and pieces, like because there was like we forgot that like your man was sick on the boat, so he couldn't have done the murder there. Yeah, and, and then we forgot that like yeah, only people a part of the excavation could have gone into the tomb, so it had to be one of the two that got murdered later. Yeah, and also um, the Windy Bank was like spending a lot of money. Cause we, you actually had it. Cause we went to fucking Pike. Cause we would have never gone to Pike normally. Yeah. Well, uh, what we do now? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to end it early? I don't know. If you want to do... I mean, is it, it's and... not even that. It's like we've been streaming for two hours, almost three hours. So, yeah. I mean, that is that even early? I mean, if you want to stream yourself, I can just raid you. I am tempted to just play Morrowind, but then I'm like, I'll probably stay up till one in the morning and play in it. <laughs> oh, wait, we haven't done the thing. Uh, Where's the Nekonyan? Uh, Here. At Baker Street, because we went back to homes for yep. him to just be like. Is our price? All the content. <laughs> <laughs> I zoomed out and I could just see it. I completely forgot about that fucking. <laughs> We did try. Yep. It went horribly. <laughs> oh, it clapped into the thing. Just... Ooh. Yep. Well, I'm closing the game. <laughs> yep. Man! <laughs> There is a, a tabletop simulator board game I would like to play, but I feel like it might be a bit too intense for streaming. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... It's, uh, do you know about Kingdom Death Monster? No. It's, it, like, think of, like, if Monster Hunter and Berserk had a baby and it was a board game with, like, settlement management. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it might be too intense, yes. It's like you basically you bas it's like a apocalypse situation or whatever. Uh where it's like the world is just made up of stone faces on the ground and you have to go out on expeditions and you roll on random tables to have random events happen. And then you do like boss fights where you have like four characters fighting and like positioning very much matters. And then it's like you're trying to kill giant beasts so you can then use their body parts to make better gear and weapons. Um, it might be a bit intense for me. <laughs> the, the, well, like, I don't know. It's like, it's not actually, many... I, I mean, it's intense because of the settlement management is you have a finite amount of settlers and they're who you have to send out and then permadeath is a thing. I don't know so many... it's like, it's more so that it's very difficult to win and like your settlement will probably just slowly die out. <laughs> I guess my problem is that I don't know many games that have like two players. I can think of one, but that wouldn't work on tabletop simulator because you have to throw dice. Yeah, with King with Kingdom Death, it's like it's basically just you can even do it one player. It's just a case of like uh, if you have two players, each player controls two characters. If it's uh, one player, you just control all four. We could uh, try I don't know Trogdor if we want to fuck around, but it's not really a complex game. It's a very simple and fun. But like you play all, it once and then you there, don't want to play anymore. There's always um, what you call it um, betrayed. Or betrayal at House on the Hill. What? It's a board game where like you're a group of people hey, investigating this. 
a spooky mansion and then you explore rooms and then eventually a you haunt happens. Yes, we are just finishing. Wait, are you also finishing? Because I was going to raid you. Oh, damn it. Yeah, well, don't out me. Um... <laughs> so yeah, so, so what happened today? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what was gonna... Oh, yeah. So, so then when the haunt happens, depending on what room it's in and what item is found to cause the haunt, it determines which player becomes the monster that has to, like, kill the rest of the players. Well, that, and does then, that work with then, two people, so though? Both, so both sides get, like, a secret objective. Well, we'd probably need another two. Yeah, the we problem, need other people. But... Um, what are games I'm, I'm subscribed to? There's always Warhammer 40k. <laughs> uh, oh boy, Bacon Project, but I feel like it might be a bit too. Um, it's basically just a card game, so it's like I don't know how good that would be. The stream, it's not like uh, a number of players, too. Let's see if what happens. Dog game it, it, 2023? What the fuck? I like how I have to go through my workshop. I have to go through like 50 Warhammer 40k maps. Oh, Let's do the most too popular long of all time. The, the board game of Stardew Valley. I, I don't want to play Stardew Valley. Why is Ruth considered two game? I guess two people could play it, but that's boring. Yeah. I mean, I usually play with three people, yeah. Um, it does, but like Root does have an actual like game on Steam, which is pretty nice. Is it good uh, though? I heard some people say just play the the tabletop simulator version instead. I mean, I only played the 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 game version of it. Well, I yeah, because oh it's okay, just I only played tabletop, like... so I have no idea what the other one is like. I assume it's just more automatic or whatever, like just. But it might be a case of like, why would you buy it if you already have tabletop and you can just play it for free? Cause yeah, I don't know. Um. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Or you can play Pokemon on like the Pokemon card game, but why would you ever want to do that? Uh, especially on tabletop simulator. I don't know. Well, we can see, I guess. Oh, I forgot I had a meme oscillator. The yeah, that what? <laughs> it's like it was just a workshop item I I subscribed to like years ago and completely forgot about. It's just a fidget spinner, but it's just called a meme oscillator on like the workshop. <laughs> um, I also have a plumbus, which honestly I need to get rid of because why the hell? I think I just wanted to see what it looked like, and I just never uninstalled it. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. We'll figure something out, I guess. In Zokio Horror, Eldritch, Eldritch in the East. I wonder how that plays. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's meant to be like Arkham Horror, which is like a Lovecraft game, but then it's like it's just the Toho reskin of it. Um... Well, I don't know. What the, what the fuck do we read? I cannot read Giggle. Uh, if you don't want to. Oh! Giggle, why are you raiding me? Oh! <laughs> 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 uh... I mean, thank you for the raid, but you know we're ending. <laughs> oh, I, for I forgot I'm subscribed to Valkyria Chronicles Duels, rewritten Chronicles. Uh, uh, falls out you're a nice lady. I'm a nice lady, I guess. I'll just like that. Yeah, but you came in and you asked, and I told you no, I wanted to raid you. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, you bet me. You beat me. Nice lad. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the, the Valkyria Chronicles board game that we could just basically play an RTS against each other. Is anyone who's playing like. Uh, uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, do I just damn play you are my only one? raid pick? What the fuck? Uh, it's it's okay. fine, Karen. You can do whatever. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any pronouns or whatever. You can just call me whatever you want. Uh, 
Um, it just it just caught me a bit off guard. Um, I don't know, Anfield. Do you have anyone? Um, Arkvander Love VT is streaming. Well then. Uh, I don't think no, I ever got in the. Do we want to do like a raid them. train? I raid you and you raid them. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's give Kikos people a raid. I guess. It's just be, a triple raid train. Funny. A raid on it'll top of funny. a raid on top of a raid. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll just raid you, <laughs> and then you can go whatever. Okay. Oh wait, Sandai has a has a raid suggestion apparently. Uh, sure, Sam, if you have anyone. Oh, am I not raiding the person I'm raiding? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, sure, let's do the raid train. Fuck it. It's too funny to pass up. It's funny and useless. So I have two favorite things. <laughs> Fair. I mean, uh, it means that when I raid, it'll be more than just you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I'll even uh, give you a raid message, even if it means nothing, because... <laughs> especially because I won't do a raid message, because the effort of coming up with one. <laughs> then do my raid message twice. I don't know. Uh... You can... Okay, well, let's do this. If you want to use my raid message, use my raid message. If you want to use Giga's raid message, just reuse raid Giga's raid what? message. What? <laughs> let's just let's just go with multiple. Oh wait, do I not fucking have the Giga ammo? Oh, this sucks. I'll have to so resub. This Damn is it. So dumb. Wait, I have, I, it says I have to sub to Giga. What the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it. Something's weird. I'm not. I thought it says gift to sub. Wait, is it is the overlay stupid? Oh, I guess it's stupid. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I just like I'm not super. Oh well, well. Uh, I'll see you on Enfield side, and then Enfield will do something. I don't know. <laughs> see you guys. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. This is so. Yeah,